Hello everyone. Let's find the value of x and y in this um, question very quickly. From equation 1, we have 16 to the power of x minus, okay, to the power of 1 minus x equal to 64. This is our equation 1. And from here, we can just get the value of x, right? Okay, let's get our value of x. Now, 16 here is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2, right? Then we have 1 minus x, which will be equal to 40, um, 64 is 4 times 4 times 4, right? Okay, I believe you agree with me. So, 4 to the power of, we can open this, right? So, we have 2 times 1 is 2 then 2 times minus x is minus 2x. This will be equal to 4 in 3 places. That's 4 to the power of 3. Now, we have the same base, and we can equate the powers. So that 2 minus 2x will be equal to 3. And then from here, 2 minus 3 is equal to 2x. I am collecting like terms. Now, minus 1 is equal to 2x. And then, to get x, we can divide by the coefficient of x. This and this will be gone. And now, x is equal to minus 1 over 3. So, this is, sorry, is 1 over 2. So, our x is minus 1 over 2. But then, we have to find x and y. As we can see in the question, we have to find the value of x and y. Now, let's write our equation 3 very quickly. Our equation 2 very quickly. Our equation 2 is x minus y equal to minus 3 over 2. And now we have the value of x. So put in there. So we have minus 1 over 2. That is for x. Then minus y equal to 3 over 2, but this is negative 3 over 2. Now what do I do? Make y the subject because we are looking for y. Now we have minus 1 over 2 plus, this becomes plus 3 over 2 equal to positive y. Now find the LCM so that the LCM will be 2. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. Then plus 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3 is 3. And then this is equal to y. Now, this means that y is equal to minus 1 plus 2. Minus 1 plus 3 is plus 2. That would be over 2. And this is given 1, right? So this is to say that our x is equal to minus 1 over 2, and y is equal to 1. And you can just go back and put this value into the equation. You will find out that you will be correct. But hold on, let's confirm it. Okay, so this is the first equation, equation 1, and it only has x as the unknown variable. So 16 to the power of 1 minus x is minus 1 over 2. Okay, now will this give us 6, um, 64? This is 16 to the power of 1 plus 2. I mean plus 1 over 2. Negative, negative will give positive, right? Then to work on this, we're going to have um, 16 to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, this is what it means. Because if you add 1 plus half, you're going to have 3 over 2. Now, this means that we are looking for the square root of 16. Then whatever we have, we raise it to the power of 3. This is going to give 4 to the power of 3. And 4 to the power of 3 is 64. And that is what we had on the right-hand side, right? So we are very correct to say that our x is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now, let's get the second equation, which is x 
minus y equal to minus 3 over 2. Now, what is the value of x? This is the value of x, right? Put it in minus 1 um, over 2. Then minus, what is the value of y that we got? 1. So put in 1 for your y. Will this give negative 3 over 2? The answer is yes. Because you can as well find the LCM which will give 2. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1 times minus 1. We have minus 1. 2 divided by 2 is 2 times minus 1. We now have minus 2. So from here, we will be having minus 3 over 2. And that is what we had on the right hand side. Right? So we have confirmed that x is equal to negative 1 over 2. And y is equal to 1. Thank you for watching. And if you love this, please subscribe to my channel and um, share to more of your friends.